Here in the mountains, people love to barrel downhill and occasionally ride themselves uphill as well. Cannondale has a number of great options for getting off-road. Uh, Murray, uh, fill us in on uh, the latest lineup on the off-road series from Cannondale. Well, we got a pretty wide range of uh, different offerings for off-road. The bikes that we're going to focus on today are uh, our Claymore and Jekyll, which are part of our Overmountain family, and then a brand new Scalpel 2.9er, which is a dual suspension 29-inch wheel bike. All right, well, uh, tell us about this. This thing looks like a uh, beast, uh, something straight out of the uh, motocross world. Yeah, it's a little bit deceiving. This bike is, uh, this is the Claymore, which is the big brother in what we call our Overmountain family of bikes. And Overmountain's a category that we created because we came up with these, uh, this way to, to have uh, bikes that have two different personalities, two different travel, two different geometries, and so you basically have two different bikes housed in the same body. So this bike is, enables you to do things that you ordinarily never would be able to do. In this case, you have 180 millimeters of travel, or 110 millimeters of travel. So just by flipping the switch on the handlebar, you can completely change the personality of your bike. So if you wanna go right up to the top of the hill, flip it up into that 110 mode and you've got a really steep forward, super aggressive, fast trail bike that's very, very efficient. Flip the switch again and your whole bike sinks and morphs into a, just a monster fast descending, low slung, high speed machine. Uh, that is uh, really impressive. Talk about the uh, materials uh, used in the frame to uh, keep some of the weight down so that you can ride it uphill if you so desire. Well, uh, obviously weight's gonna be a big concern of a bike like this because you do wanna be able to pile it uphill as well as down. So we needed to balance the strength needed for aggressive descending with, uh, with super lightweight. This particular frame is uh, made out of what we call our smart formed alloy, which is a 6069 tube set of aluminum that has been unbelievably sophisticatedly, sophisticatedly, is that a word? Yes, well, today. very sophisticated manipulation of the aluminum. So we concentrate material where we need it, we shave it away everywhere that we don't, and we end up with a bike that's extremely light, extremely tough, uh, and just perfect for this type of application. Now, you mentioned uh, that uh, you, know, you can change this bike uh, in a lot of different ways. You mentioned you can switch up the travel. You can also switch up the uh, seat post. Uh, you, know, you switch your, your seat height also with the flick of a switch. Yeah, this is actually uh, something that's becoming quite popular for these all mountain or big mountain bikes, which is a seat post that you have a switch on the handlebar that enables you to drop the seat or raise the seat. So climbing, you pop it up. When you hit to the top of the trail and you need a little bit more room to maneuver, slam that thing down and you can switch back and forth effortlessly on the trail. All right, well, uh, it is a, a beautiful looking bike, especially I like it in that gray color. Now, uh, if you don't mind having to, uh, you know, hose it down and uh, get, get that little white paint a little bit muddy, tell me about uh, the Jekyll here. The Jekyll really is uh, the, the most versatile bike on the mountain. It is the bike that we designed to truly be sort of a switchblade, two bikes in one, go anywhere, ride anything, super bike. And um, it's uh, 150 millimeters or 90 millimeters of travel using that same diode shock technology that we had on the Claymore that's found on all of the over mountain bikes. And uh, so it shares the same dual personality style that the, that the Claymore does. But this bike is really significantly lighter and really intended more for all mountain trail use, but is completely capable and at home on you know, shuttle runs, park runs, you know, some of our pros have actually placed it on the podium in cross country races on it. So it really is a bike that, one bike to do everything. If you had to pick one to take with you everywhere, this is the bike. Just like uh, people have one ski quivers, uh, you can have, uh, you know, if you don't have enough uh, room in your garage or you actually have to keep a car in there as well, uh, you know, save, save some room, get, uh, get one bike that does it all. Yeah, we actually uh, refer to this bike around the office as the quiver killer because, you, you know, if you're going on vacation to sort of Moab or Park City, you don't have to pack two bikes with you. You just grab your Jekyll and you, you're good to go for any kind of riding you want to do. All right. Well, uh, another big trend uh, that we've seen in mountain biking over the last few years is the 29er. Uh, tell me about uh, this one. Well, 29ers have really uh, taken the industry by storm. It's a 29-inch wheel as opposed to a 26-inch wheel. And the bigger wheels uh, enable you to just carry more speed through things. They roll over stuff better. They, they carry momentum. And uh, they're just... They just help most riders go faster in most in most terrain. So uh, the next evolution of them is obviously to uh, make them dual suspension. So this bike is the Scalpel 2.9er. It's our first dual suspension 29er and one that is near and dear to my heart because 
Well, our road bike product manager gave me one of the first prototypes to take a couple of test rides and let him know what I thought, and I still haven't given it back. So it's, uh, it's an amazing machine. Talk about, one, aside from the, uh, you know, the bigger wheels, what else makes this one special? Well, this bike in particular uh, uses a lot of Cannondale-specific technology. It uses our ballistic carbon that we pioneered with our, uh, with our Jekyll that we use throughout the line, very, very light extremely tough carbon fiber. Um, we use a lot of our system integration. Uh, we do our own crank and bottom bracket. We do our own uh, lefty fork and our own stem. All of the system integration means that we design the frame and the components to work together specifically. And because we control the components, we actually end up with a lighter, stiffer package that none of the competition can, uh, can match. Using this fork and those cranks, we're about a half a kilo lighter than any other fork and crank combo on the market. And uh, every ounce counts when you're uh, climbing uh, six, 7,000 feet. Every ounce counts, and especially with uh, two niners, which you, because of the bigger wheels, tend to be a little bit heavier. So the ability for our riders to really drop a lot of weight out of the system is, uh, is important. And you have a really light, really spry, lively bike. Well, uh, you know, we can see uh, right behind us, there are so many other options uh, for, uh, for the mountain, for getting off-road from Cannondale. If people want more information on the entire line, where do they go? Well, I mean, just give me a call. No, cannondale.com. Fantastic, Bernie. Thanks so much. My pleasure.